Uh, now we're going to do a little shtick for you. Uh, we had a few, shall we say, dancing girls. Uh, the flimsy costumes and the gorgeous buddies. Just the sort that spacemen like. And this dates back to a time before there were quite so many troubles in this area of the world. Uh, fun and games. One time in Alexandria, wicked Alexandria, where nights were wild with revelry and life was but a game. There lived, so the report is an adventurous and courtesan, the pride of Alexandria, and Thais was her name. Nearby in peace and piety, avoiding all society, there dwelt a band of holy men who'd built a refuge there. And in the desert solitude, they scorned all earthly folly to devote their lives to holy works, to fasting and to prayer. Now one monk whom I solely mention of this group of holy men, was known as Athenael, he was famous near and far. At fasting bouts, or prayer with him, none other could compare with him. At grand and lofty praying, he could do the course in part. Sand trap. Well, yes. One day while sleeping heavily, from wrestling with the devil. He had gone to bed exhausted while the sun was shining still. He had a vision, Freudian, and though he was annoyed, he analyzed it in the well-known styles of doctors, Jung and Brill. He dreamed of Alexandria, wicked Alexandria. A crowd of men were staring in a manner rather rude. At Thais, who was dancing there, and Athenae, glancing there, observed her do the shimmy in what artists call the nude. <laughs> Said he, the scene fantastical disturbs my plots monastical. Some unsuppressed desire I fear has found my monkish cell. I blushed up to the head of me to view that girl's anatomy. I'll go to Alexandria and save her soul from hell. <laughs> so, pausing not to wonder where he'd left his summer underwear, he quickly packed his evening clothes, a toothbrush, and a vest. To guard against exposure, he threw in some woolen hosiery. And bidding all the boys goodbye, he started on his quest. The monk, though warned and fortified, was deeply shocked and mortified to find on his arrival wild debauchery in sway. Debauch, debauch, debauch. <laughs> While some lay in a stupor sent by booze of more than two percent, the others were behaving in a most immoral way. In other words, a con. <laughs> Said he to Thais, pardon me, although this job is hard on me, I got to put you wise to what I come down here to tell. What's all the sauce in getting you cut out this fly-eyed retinue? Let's hit the trail together, kid. I'll save your soul from hell. Though this boat admonished, but caused Thais some astonishment. 
She coyly answered, Say, you said a haven, mouthful bow. This burgs of frost, I'm telling you, the brand of hooch they're selling you ain't like the stuff we used to get. So let's pack up and go forth from Alexandria, wicked Alexandria. Across the burning sands they go beneath the blazing sun. Till ties parched and sweltering finds refuge in the sheltering seclusion of a convent and the habit of a nun. <laughs> like any nun I ever saw. <laughs> but now the monk is terrified. He finds his fears are verified. His holy vows of chastity have cracked beneath the strand. Like one who has a jagony cries out in grief and agony. Her up before she did. I missed the line here. Okay, no, no. Uh, I'd sell. That's a good thing to do. Like one who has a jag on, he cries out in grief and agony. I'd sell my soul to see her dance the shimmy once again. Alas, his pleading's clamorous, though passionate and amorous. Have come to late, the courtesan has danced her final dance. Says he, now that's a joke on me, for that there thing to croak on me. I had an otter past her at the time I had the chance. <laughs> Thank you.